Some it cats is. thought it was a joke. It was just so far. Oh, no, no, no. We didn't. <laughs> you <laughs> must be talking about some other cats. You're not talking right, about that. Like, this nigga got a finger wave. It's no, 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 no. We got it. We yeah. know, the real players, we, we understood it. I mean, that was a pencil wave. In a, in a real way, way. man. I'm, you know, my, little did my fucking know how I do this shit today. Man, please. I mean, the hair game has to be impeccable. You know, you. that's one thing about us, man, out here on the West, man. Our hand game and our hair game is going to be expendable and very... You know, pleasurable for those who get it, you know, a little Man, bit. Man, in a real way, yeah, That's yeah, the way man, we was raised, sure. though, right? Yeah, yeah. Being raised with that, with the real P, with the real game that they gave us in the early 70s, mm -hmm. the early 80s, to when we finally got a chance to take control of the game. That's real. Was when, it, when, it came, when it came to the hair game, you, you know, I just always picture myself just walking out the house and my shit just bouncing like I came out of a Pantene commercial. Mm, Pantene. Just, mm. just blowing in slow motion. Boom, just busting a bitch like my uncles and them. And, and did what them niggas did, and, but took it to, a, to a, 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 a further level though with the rapping and shit. Well, man. that's what it was because you gotta know this, that, that they ran the race and they had a baton mm -hmm. and they could only go so far. So when they mm -hmm. passed the baton off to the youngsters, which was us, you know, we was watching them run. Right. We yeah. seen the pace they was running. They yeah. was kind of jogging. Mm -hmm. So when we got a hold of we was like, oh, we, we got a little bit more pep that, in our step, huh? Now, now, I don't know if, if yeah, like, was you the oldest grandson? Or, or no, I got I got a bunch of, my brother was older than me, my okay. cousins was older than me. I right. was like, but I was like, I ain't gonna say I was the favorite, but me and my grandpa, right. our relationship was okay. like, I was spending okay. a night and with him. And that's what it was, that's what it was with a, with a nigga, right? They just recognized, they just talk to you in a way, but I mean, why you telling me that? He don't never talk to them like that. Right, just they me. older than me, just right. you. He would always tell me, he called me Sonny. He'd be like, Sonny, come here. Go in the refrigerator and get me a peach. I get him a peach, cut it up, cut the the the, uh, the, the outside off, and sprinkle some salt on it. Yeah. And he make me eat the outside part, and he eat the inside part. Uh -huh. And then all my cousins be like, why Paw Paw be always giving you peaches? And one time a nigga socked me. He's like, you think you special because Paw Paw be letting you cut the peaches. Yeah. And I said, Paw Paw, you can't let me mm -hmm. cut the peaches. He said, fuck them. Yeah. I got you in here for a reason. Yeah. Bye. It's, it's just game, you know. It's what just game. Like it's just game. Certain, like, even they know. Even they know me, who to give it to. Me right now, when I see a young player, if it's a young rapper, young entrepreneur, yeah. and I gravitate to him, yeah. I feel like I'm that old nigga that did that to me when I was Man, young. You see what I'm saying? And and that's that's how that's how these songs be coming out. Right. Now, if, if the man don't nobody do them, if man don't if, if ain't nobody say, telling some young cat that I mean you don't even know, man. Don't be thinking about your dick, boy. That's something valuable you you taking from back home and from your bloodline, uh, passing it down to some young cat, man, who life you subject to say. Yeah, because now he can think with his other head. Right. You know, instead of thinking with the little head, think right. with the big head. That's okay. what Marco Junebug hey, used hey, to tell me. In a real way, man, my nigga on Junebug. Junebug used to say that all the time. Huh. He just say, right. stop thinking with your little head and start thinking with your big head. Right, okay, now remember the day you listened and you tried it. Mm-hmm. And, and some shit started working. Yeah, it did. That you couldn't explain to the next motherfucker. They didn't get it. You knew you couldn't talk to him. No, no, he don't want it. Right? You couldn't, you can't talk to no, them. No, no, no. Right, about it, right? He gonna think I'm crazy right? if so, I run so you, you laying next to this bad ass bitch mm -hmm. and you wanna touch her, but you know not to. Right. For a very long time. Say that. Then you get good at it. Mm -hmm. Years go by. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah. It's like a master lock. It is the way to be able to master that thing. Loyal than the German Shepherd. Man, say that, man. Look. America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I fuck up the thing? No, you gave it to him uncut and raw. <laughs> this nigga got out. He got artillery to work with now, nigga. That was, that was, that was juice. He got artillery. You can't even, you can't even, you can't even write that kind of shit, man. Like. Like for real, some shit is just is just not to be written. I, to, when we was talking to Max Julian, I was like, Max, man, so how was it you and Richard Pryor doing the script? He was like, man, the director tried to tell Richard Pryor how to act. Richard Pryor told him, motherfucker, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me how to be me. Get out the way and just shoot. And when I finish, you cut me up. Cause you're gonna have more than you could probably even think of. It, yeah. And that's what we just gave y'all. Some of that shit, that, that raw shit that you put a canvas on there and you just, Throw paint on it. Well, we just threw so much colors on that motherfucker, fluorescent green and orange and purple and pink, everything. Yeah. 
in a real way, man. Yeah, in you a know, real way. Live around the corner from Miss Johnson, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my nigga lying, boy. Yeah, that was just lying, man. Because I was thinking been, about my nigga on the way over here, but I wasn't going to say nothing until you said it. Must but have been a bitch. He must have known that Miss Johnson now. Because yeah. that line was sentimental to him. Like, yeah. he, he loved that line. I remember I just got out and, and I was in a booth, man. And I was wondering, man, y'all niggas, yeah, I, I couldn't hear it because the door, door at the dog house was so thick. Right. And I'm off a close and went to school. <laughs> but it was a camera in there and a little AC <laughs> for the nigga to breathe. She was in there. Swinging on my dick, saying we right, and there was a long silence outside. I'm like, okay, they, I don't know what they're doing. Then I heard y'all laughing, dog. Like after five minutes, <laughs> man, somebody opened the door. Man, y'all niggas on the floor just hard. <laughs> <laughs> Holding y'all stomach. That was the coldest line we had ever heard, nigga. Where's that motherfucker laughing so hard? But nigga was like, that shit's so cold yeah. the way you said hey, it. No, I just told Ted the story. I, uh, I said, Ted, man, I was a dog house one. One night, man. I, this was recent. This was like three days ago, and I don't be admitting this to everybody, right? <laughs> I said, man, um, I was like, I was like, dog, I'm gonna buy some weed. He was like, the doggy angels in the back, the back house. They got some weed. I'm like, oh, okay, shit. I went to the door. I said, pit bull <laughs> with a head like bit this big, and with a blue rag tied around him. And then I looked on the wall, and there was a painting of this dog that looked like him. <laughs> So I knew he was special at this point. I guess Snoop knew. He, he was like, cut, don't be acting like you're scared of him, cut. <laughs> he free here to do something to you. I'm like, I ain't not. I ain't you talking about this one? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, yeah, nigga, go back there, right? Man, I went back there. Someone said, nigga, just act like these niggas be acting around these dogs. That's so why I put my game face on. Nigga, I was like, Shove the dog. <laughs> Belt back there to the back dog. He's angels in it. That was like free. I hurried up, got in there, closed the dog. I'm like, ah! <laughs> they was like, nigga. I was like, y'all got some weed? They're like, yeah. And they's like, we want you on this song. I'm like, oh, cool. Because mm. I didn't want to walk right back out there. Yeah, right? let me make, make some Yeah, time. right. So I stayed in there for a while. Um, That's when there was a studio made, in there. Yeah, it made some change. Right, as long as I got me out, I never let her slip. Nigga, I'm thinking about that dog biting my ass, that whole song. I ain't lying. <laughs> Better never slip with my paper. Pay. Nigga, Ted was on the phone, roll it like a mother. But I was just nigga, telling, telling him some real times, shit. Times, nigga, at the yeah. dog house. Yeah, man. That was my first home that I had, and I opened it up to everybody. 